<laughs> sometimes, sometimes when, when I think, uh, like, when I go back, you know, to, like, the, in the retrospect, some of the, like, you know, the, let's call it gypsy times. Yeah. Because we travel like fucking gypsies across the universe, the, the whole That's globe, you did. know. <laughs> and I'm, you know what? Like, when people ask me, oh, so how, you, how long, uh, how long you've been uh, practicing yoga? Like, four years now. But then, no, 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 no. I started practicing yoga first time I get on a van and travel from Wuch to fucking Trondheim. Uh, 30 hours drive in the middle of uh, winter, just, just doing yeah, something. We were sleeping on the floor. Just doing some everything. asana that I wasn't even aware that it was, uh, it was yoga, you know? <laughs> I was there. I was yeah, doing yeah. that. So, so, that was crazy. Dude, I, rem I, I think the most crazy trip we did together was w w we went for one show to Portugal or two shows maybe, <laughs> yeah. right? With this small van <laughs> yeah. from Poland and we drove like there was no hotels on the way. Nothing. So, so we drove like for 38 hours or something. Yeah, uh, just um, yeah, straight up 35 hours. And remember Caramba, the driver? Of course, never, I will he never was forget. Like, no drugs, of course, and uh, like no alcohol, obviously, yeah. because he was a driver. He would just turn colors, like sw switch colors, you know, on his face, you know, like from pale to red <laughs> through green. So like all shades of gray, you know, like on, 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 on the face and like, on the side, like no water, just a big chunk of, of fucking uh, of coffee. Yeah. And just that coffee and just pissed off and like, oh. Yeah, he, he, was, he was a wolf, yeah. He was, <laughs> he was just out of this world, you know. And I remember, actually, by the way, because yeah. you started like, you, you, you're very like, like vocal about your um, um, issues. Yeah. Uh, so when I look back, I don't know if you remember, no. Maybe you don't remember because like uh, it was a slight delay, but uh, sorry, a slight detail. But uh, I had like a condition with my heart. And I remember when we were traveling there, I was thinking because it was we did two shows in Portugal and a week later we started a European tour. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And right. when going to that uh, to that. Yeah. And when going to Portugal for 35 mm -hmm. hours, I was having a very uh, um, disturbing and weird um, sensation in my body, which was, uh, which was the heart arrhythmia. Okay. So my heart would just go like off the beat and just going up and down and it was weird, you know, and I was very concerned about that. So one day I would just wake up and the, uh, the heart would just go like, instead of like, tum tum, tum tum, it would just go tum, tum tum tum, tum tum. To, and I would just start panicking. Next day, it was another rhythm. Next oh, day, it was another rhythm. So like, uh, uh, next day, I'm like, mm. I was hoping that it's gonna go away. I'm like, holy shit, I, you know, and back then I was very hypochondric, you know, unlike today. Back then I was, I, I would just pay. I remember, yeah. I was just pay attention, oh, I think something yeah, You wrong. felt something was, was yeah, coming yeah. probably. Yeah. Something was coming, exactly. And what happened? I went, I checked myself into hospital. I don't know if you remember the whole deal that we were like that close. Oh no, you were not in the band. It was, it was, um, I think it was I later or, or may no, you were in the band. Shit. Now I don't remember. I, I remember something, but you know, the thing about those times uh, and that trip that I was drunk all the way. Like that trip, because we, me and uh, Novi and Brovar, oh, yeah. we were just drinking ourselves to sleep. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, all yeah. the time on that trip because it was just unbearable, you know, to sit yeah. in that van. So, so whenever we were waking up, we were just like opening. Yeah. I mean, wh how old were we? Like I was like, nineteen, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe something like that. So, you know, your body can take a lot back then. But I might not remember <laughs> some yeah, of the I, things. Yeah, you know? I, do, I do remember. <laughs> and what happened? Like I realized that years later, you know, because I was thinking that I'm having some he uh, heart issues. Yeah. But uh, no, it was like years later, I realized that it was my um, neurosis that started back then. Okay. I just, I became neurotic. I became, it's called uh, anxiety. Yeah. So I'm, uh, if you have your issue, I have my issue, which is uh, anxiety. Yeah. And I'm a victim of anxiety. And every now and then I had to uh, support myself with medications to cool down because oh yeah, well it, I know anxiety it, very like, well and even, I even had like a quite serious attack when I found myself alone in the middle of Alps you know on the on the lift in a train okay I got an you attack got a, like a panic attack panic like okay like like full-on panic attack yeah. that it would just take away like everything from me like all the self-confidence and like in the you know in no time 
I forgot how to snowboard, so I couldn't go back because I was falling off all the time. It was so yeah. weird, so strange, and, and, and very... Um, I just felt like it, it's weird, you know, so I had to check in, you know, to the doctor, get medicines yeah. just to cool that down, you know, so... And I have no pro absolutely no problems to, you know, sincerely talk about it. You yeah, know? exactly, like, because, you know, I had no idea about that, but I feel you totally because... But it started you know, then, you know, in like yeah. in 20s, you know, and yeah. then I would just go through life, you know, with different sensations that yeah. I would ignore, like some... Uh, yeah, shove it under the carpet. Yeah, or whatever, yeah, like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. like, I think, like... It's good to just, you know, like, don't exaggerate, you know, don't yeah. overreact, you know, some, like, it's body, it's, it's, it's you know, it's things It's chemistry happen. and, yeah. Yeah, so, like, yeah. but, but if, if it gets to the, you know, to the place, like, maybe you should just go and consult it with a specialist, you know, yeah. with a doctor. Um, and it's, it's never, sometimes it's too late, but if it's not too late, go and check yourself in, you know, and find out, you know, because we, a lot of times, you know, we think, like, we're so aware of who we are. Are we? No. Are Actually, we? you know, I, I think the whole fucking life is a process of like learning, you know, who I am and what is behind that fucking shell. You but know? you know, you know, it's it's so important that you, you also uh, mm. uh, said it out loud because, you know, that's that's the problem uh, which I I realized that is happening in the men's world, you know. The the whole uh, the whole ego macho, the whole it's a, it's the macho, macho the macho, macho thing that and, that um, we are not uh, supposed to be weak or anything and yeah, or, or right. admit to our it's stereotypes and we are victims yeah. of stereotypes yeah so you know I, I I was hiding I was shoving it under the carpet for most of my life you know and I had symptoms but you know I reached the bottom and I woke up luckily you know mm. it was almost too late but I did it I went to the doctor. And then everything changed, you know, and, but it was my decision, you know, it was mm -hmm. the, the most, because I could continue like that. I could be forced to go to the doctor and I could do that and just take medication, but don't give a shit, you know, and then mm. no, nothing no, would no, happen. No. I wouldn't be where I am right no. now. And, uh, but I really accepted it. You know, that's the, that's the crucial thing. And I did the coming out, even though at that point I was not even able to fucking write, you know, my, on my own. I was so fucking down, like, you know, nailed to the bed, basically. And, you know, my body was exhausted and brain, you know, after the manic state for several months, you know, yeah. and uh, extended with the heavy usage of cocaine and everything, you know. Oh. But, you know, when I cleared out, and I started the therapy, and I met my therapist on the on the tour that I did uh, with you guys in Aust Australia again. Bang. Yeah, <laughs> bam, you know, bam. So I met I met um, uh, my therapist. Hey Lily. <laughs> hey Lily. <laughs> uh, uh, and she's from Australia, and you know, and, and then she's I, not a kangaroo. No, she's not a kangaroo. No, and she's got a sister that is not a kangaroo too. 